Okay, so I've got my new solar uh, chicken coop door opener from Sun Enterprise. So I just want to open this up. It took a while to get this. It was supposed to be next day delivery, but for whatever reason, it didn't quite make it to me, so I had to order it again. So we've had a number of attacks on our chicken coop and run so we're building a chicken fortress and we're rebuilding the chicken coop and so we're we're going to get an automatic coop door so we have instructions i've been doing a lot of research for a while on automatic coop doors i've been watching a lot of youtube videos See what other people are using. Chicken guard seems to be pretty popular, but it's like really expensive. I didn't want to spend hundreds of dollars um, on something I wasn't sure would be the right thing. And I don't like that little string. I, I'm, I feel like a raccoon would be smart enough to pull the string and open the door in the middle of the night. Um, solar panel charger. So here's solar panel. A mounting plate, I guess it will stick on the coop wall. So I've been looking at these. I mean, you can spend $30, you can spend hundreds of dollars, but this one from Sun Energizer Con was like $100. All right, little mounting screws. Feels pretty lightweight. Feels kind of like plastic. These. This track is metal. So this is what I, I, I really was interested in. I didn't want one of those automatic opener um, that had like the string. I wanted something where like like these little teeth would be like the still engaged in the door. So I can't I can't push it up. Yeah. It looks pretty simple. There's some instructions here. On how to open, close, set some things. I like not too many buttons. Um, so basically what I was looking for in um, a coupe door opener was um, not too expensive. Um, this is kind of in the middle, about $100. Uh, I want it to be solar. I didn't want to fiddle with batteries uh, and, and little screws going out there with little screw, you know, having to like, unscrew, take things out, re-screw. I didn't want the string. Um, and uh, I didn't want something I thought like uh, could be easily opened. See, that doesn't, that won't open all by itself. And what I really, really, really wanted at the top of my list was um, something that was going to close at dusk so I wouldn't have to fiddle with changing the time setting as uh, we got into summer or winter and something that would open at a specific time. And it uh, seems like a lot of coupe door openers, you can do just by timer, just by light, but um, this let me um, mix and match. So we'll see how well this works out. This is our new coupe door from Sun Energize. Um, I had wanted to um, take a video of my husband installing it. I told him it would be about take about five minutes. It looked pretty simple. I had read the directions and um, but he went and did it without me. Uh, number one, I think it's because he didn't believe me it would really take five minutes. Um, number two, when I told him I wanted to take a video of him installing uh, the coupe door from start to finish, he, I think he didn't like the idea of, you know, maybe fumbling around for the camera and he thought it would take longer than five minutes. But anyway, so it's already done. And you can see here, it's like really simple. It just had like like six screws right here. Uh, you just have to be careful not to screw them in too tight, too tightly, um, because the door won't go up and down as easily. So this is plastic, um, but what I like is the gears are engaged um, when it's down, because that's what I, I didn't want. I was afraid that, you know, Hopefully our coop here, our run, you know, with this half inch um, hardware cloth will keep out predators. 
Uh, we've got like a, um, you can't really see it, which is fine, um, but like, um, like a security apron down there. Uh, so to help prevent anything from digging in. But just real quick, uh, it's been pretty easy to set up. Um, it comes with, uh, I don't like this right here. I don't know why this, this was designed so the solar panel plugged in there. I wish it were like it went in from right here or from up top, but it did. And it, but it's got, at least it has a decent long cord and it needs to face, there it is right there. We haven't um, screwed it in yet, but it's going to face due south, which means it's going to face the coop. Um, our coop um, faces east to west and so it can't really go on the roof very well. But anyway, you just push any button to turn the thing on. And right now, this is showing the lumens. So you can, it's got the directions. And by the way, I went ahead and took a picture of the um, instructions right away, just because with time and weather and sun, I think it's gonna, the writing's gonna fade off and I just wanna have the directions. So basically, if you wanna set the time, you just push these two and it's a 24 hour clock and so it starts i guess with the hours i guess you like it you hit okay it moves on to the minutes when you've set them right now it's 604 you just push this and hold it for like three seconds and right now it's going to lumens because right here you can see the um the mode setup it's got you can three different modes you can open and close this door based on um, manual time a specific time which I have right here you can see 759 in the morning I only have that because when I got to 59 it wouldn't let me go roll over to zeros and I didn't feel like clicking it all the way down 59 times to get down but um, so 8 o'clock it opens <clears throat> and then it closes based on light I've got it down to 10 lumens and so you can see the lumens right here. Right now it's you know six o'clock in the evening. We're around a little below 600 lumens. So when it gets down to 10, and I think it's dark enough. So it has been opening and closing on time. We checked it. Um, but basically, all you have to do is um, so let's hold this to this setting. Yeah, it just toggles up and down. Time, time, light, 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 time and time light. This is what this is what I wanted. So I, you hit OK. And then it lets you choose the lumens. And like I said, I started with 40. It was a little bit arbitrary, 40 or 50, and it closed too soon. So we found that so far we think like 10 lumens works. You just hit OK and it goes on to the time. Maybe I'll just go ahead and fix it while I'm here. See, it won't roll over to zeros, but let me just go ahead and bring it down to 8 o'clock. In the morning. Let's try that. Hit OK. It goes on to the hours. We'll do 8 o'clock. That's OK. It goes back to that. So you just hold it for three seconds and then it takes it. And then it goes away. Um, so what it is, you can see the battery right here. So it's solar but, um, but it's got a little battery in I guess the solar panel so that it's still, um, it's still working, uh, you know, with the time and everything like that. So even if it wasn't plugged in, we had it unplugged for a while. It was, I could still, um, we had it out of the, uh, I had the, the solar panel out of the light. I put it up over there. I think we were going to get a storm. That, that hurricane was coming through, so I moved it over there. So, but yeah, if you want to close it, like manually, it'll close. And it's got this anti-pitch technology. It goes back up. I tested it. That was something I was concerned about. I've read articles about, you know, um, chickens getting smashed, and I definitely didn't want that. So I definitely wanted the anti-pitch technology. So that that, that works. Uh, so basically, so the next time it's going to close, it's going to close by the lumens, and that's why it shows lumens here. After it closes, because the next time, the next mode it'll open is um, based on uh, time. Okay, and so that closed because, so what it is, I tried to close it manually. I pretended I was a chicken, so it went back up, and then it does go and close on its own, which is, you know, what you wanted it to do to begin with. 
So and then I could just open it manually. So we'll open it. But yeah, so far um, for a hundred dollars, um, glad to have a solar uh, opener. I didn't want to fiddle with batteries. Um, it seems to do what it's supposed to do. It installed easily, and so it, it was it was easy to set up. So hoping that um, a couple months from now we'll check it again. Well, we'll check it before that, but. Um, do another video in a couple months. I noticed that in all the videos I watched um, with other door openers, it seemed like everything was great until it hit the three month mark. And so we'll definitely get past three months and we'll see if it's still working really well. But so far, I, it's, a, it's a nice design. It looks good on this coupe. Um, this is our brand new coupe. It's about 90% of the way built, so probably stain it. So maybe the I like the brown door. Maybe it'll go a little bit better after um, it's been stained. But yeah, we'll check back again in a couple of months to see if it's still working uh, as well as we hope.